All right. Um, so let's take let's let's take a moment. All right. Let's take a moment to just close our eyes. All right. And let's begin. And I'm not too good with players, family, so please do not judge. All right, I'm not too good, but I, it, it, it comes from the heart and it comes from wanting every single person on this call to win. All right, so dear Heavenly Father, uh, we, we gather here uh, on January 29th, 2021 to be able to give key information for somebody to somebody right? Somebody on this call to change the trajectory of millions of people today, right? Millions of people today, right? We can go one, we can go two, we can go three, we can go hundreds. Um, we can go, we can go, we can even go millions, but we're here to change the world, right? We're here to change the world. We're here to elevate. And I know for a fact that, you know, before me even saying this prayer, that every single thing uh, that is being spoken about today uh i want everybody to understand that it's you speaking through me all right i want everybody to understand that the information that we're speaking about today is you um being able to give me right the correct information to be able to give someone else so they can get the success uh that they're looking for all right i know for a fact that there are individuals that are not on this call right that are not on this call that did not click this zoom link and we, 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 we pray and we care for them the same, right? We pray and care for them and to guide them to just understand that this information, this information that we learn and we, we hear on a day-to-day -day basis, right? We may not truly understand how powerful it is or how much lives it's really going to change, right? But I, I, I truly want everyone to know that with your guidance, right? With your guidance, with your protection um, and with this information, right? Lives are changing. Lives are changing as we speak. Um, with that being said, right, let's drop some amens in the chat or let's drop some hands in the chat. All right. I'm feeling good, family. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. I'm currently still in New York, right? I'm currently still in New York, but let me see how much participants are on this call, right? We have, uh, we have almost 2000, all right? We have almost 2000. A part of me wants to be extra and get more, but, um, let's lock in. All right. Let's lock in. But how to thrive within the system, all right? How to thrive within the system, right? Family, it's super important for us, before I even begin, all right, before I even begin, before I even begin, before I even begin, um, I'm super excited, right? I'm super excited for um, this information, right? I'm super excited for this information, but I'm more excited for all of us, all right, for all of us. And the reason I'm excited for all of us is because um, we have been... We have been, we have, we are equipped, all right? We are equipped, you know, and that's the first, that's the first uh, point in, you know, in my, what I'm going to talk about, right? We are equipped. And family, I want you to understand, family, that right now, right, you are more equipped than you've probably ever been. And it doesn't matter if this is your first day, right? It doesn't matter if this is your first month. It doesn't matter if this is your first week, right? It doesn't matter if this is your first year. I want you to understand, right, that you are equipped in this opportunity right now to take it wherever you want to take it. And this is a conversation. It may be 2,000 individuals on this call today, but I want you to, you know, understand that this is a, this is a conversation. This is, uh, this is how, thriving in the system from me to you. Take this as a personal conversation because I want you to understand, family, that, right, I want you to realize Right. I want you to realize that right now we are equipped. Right. We are more than equipped in this opportunity. And I'm blessed and I'm grateful for it. And when we talk about just being humble, grateful, and truthful. Right. Everyone drop HGT in the chat. Everyone drop HGT. Right. HGT. 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 Right. Humble, grateful, and truthful. Right. Humble, grateful, and truthful. And it's support, it's important. Right, it's important to understand or carry these three words in this opportunity with all that you do. All right, in this opportunity, outside of this opportunity, with all that you do. All right, but I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. And the reason I'm excited because for the past year, I'm gonna be honest. For the past year, family, um, 
I'm, I myself am humble, humble, grateful, and truthful for the amount of education, right? For the amount of information, for the amount of um, knowledge and wisdom that I've been able to gain within this industry, within this in family, within this environment, right? Within this company, all of the above, all of the above, right? I'm excited because family, I want you to understand that it's, I've been saying this word a lot, but do you guys know that word? It's like no, nostalgic, nostalgic when it's like, if anybody knows the definition of that word, nostalgic, I don't know if that's how you say it, but like nostalgic, what does that word mean? Right? I don't know the definition, but reminiscing, right? You're reminiscing, you're, you're, you're remembering these times. And I've been having those moments. I'm going to be honest, family. I've been having those moments, right? And I've been telling myself, like, yo, this is such a nostalgic feeling, right? This is such a nostalgic feeling. Be being able to understand the things that, you know, are, 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 are working in our life right now, this is a nostalgic feeling, meaning that, right? And I don't mean the, the bad vibes or whatever the case. We can stop with the, uh, you know, with the meanings in the chat. But the reason I say that is because I feel like I've been here before. And a lot of individuals, some of us may not, right? But some of us, deja vu, right? But some of us may not know what that feels like. But right now, I want you to understand, family, right? Shout out to, right? Yep. Shout out to Chairman 50. You're with me. But I want you to understand, I've been, I've been feeling this way of like, yo, I feel so nostalgic. And it's crazy because I've never even looked up the word ever in my life. Ever. I never even looked it up, but I, I know for a fact that that's a good way to feel, right? And the reason it's a good way to feel is, you know, when you don't know the definition of a word, but you know, that's the word that you've been thinking about, you know, the definition, you know, you don't know what the definition of a word means, but it's like, for some reason, that word just fits the sentence. That way, that word just fits how you're feeling. And when we, we talk about alignment and we talk about all of these things so much sometimes, and I feel like right? I feel like we are in perfect alignment, right? For the success to be at an all-time high. For the success, somebody said I'm breaking up. Am I breaking up? All right, cool, right? I feel like we are in perfect alignment, right? To be able to receive the blessings that we've been waiting for. To be able to receive the blessings that we've been working for. Some people say I'm lagging. Some people say I'm not. I can't tell. All right, cool. I'm good. All right. But I feel like we've been in a spot or we are in a spot right now in this business, right now in this business where you are in a spot where you have been positioned correctly at the right time, right place, right area, right moment to be able to have an abundance of overflow this year. And the reason I say that is because part of the reason I felt like I've been here before, right? I felt like I've been here before, family. And a lot of individuals, a lot of leaders in this business who you may look up to, they can say the same. They can say, yo, I feel like I've probably been here before. I feel like, right, the way that this opportunity is moving, the things that we are learning, the things that are going on right now in this space and even the system, I feel like we have been here before. But you want to know what's on your end? You want to know what is in your favor? The fact that you're right where you are. The fact that you are right where it is that you are. And the reason I say that, family, the reason I say that is because the reason I say that this is a nostalgic moment, or even if that's how you say the word, the reason I say that this is a nostalgic moment is because family, I want you to truly understand we have 2,000 individuals on the call. I want you to truly understand that we've come to a point or you've heard about the moments where it was, it was, this is how I started the business, right? This is how I started the business. When I started the business, guys, I started the business and it wasn't Chairman 50, right? I started the business and it wasn't the success that you see right now at this given moment. I started the business and I came into a system that is similar to the system that right now is what is a part of your process and your journey. 
But I want you guys to understand, family, I've said this so time and time after again. It's always better to be the second and it's always better than it is to be the first. It is always better to be the second than it is to be the first. Right? And I don't mean embrace coming second because guess what? I will always be first. That's my mentality. I'm not doing it to be second. But there is a blessing. There is a true blessing in being second. There is a true blessing in right where it is that you are. And the reason being, the reason being is because when I came into this business, when I came into this business, when I came into this business, guys, I want you to realize right now that all I had was the 9 p.m. All I had was the 9 p.m. And let me backtrack my success just a little bit, right? My name is Imran Richie. I'm a chairman 50 within the opportunity. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Long Island, New York. And I'm no different. I'm no different. But the reason being, the reason being is because right now, I want you to understand, family, that right now, right here, this information, the structure of this business, the way it is moving out for you right now, this is exactly how I learned everything. Right? This is exactly how I learned everything. And I didn't start as a chairman 50. Before I even get into thriving into the system, I want to let it be known. I started this opportunity with a job. I started this opportunity corporate, working as an accountant. I started this opportunity with embracing and loving the 9 p.m. trainings. I started this opportunity treating 9 p.m. as, okay, this is my dinner time, and I need to know this information right here. This is all I need to know to be successful. I want to let you in on the circuit, and I want to let you understand when I came into this business unranked because I was there too. When I came into this business platinum 150 because I was there too. When I came into this business, Platinum 1000, because I was there too. You may have not been around to see it, but I want you to realize it was I was there at one point. But when I came into this business, all I had was the system that is in front of you, in front of your face right now as we speak. But the reason I say this and the reason that I understand, right, that you are so aligned and so blessed to be able to have an abundance of success, right? It's because when I came into this opportunity, I got on every single 9 p.m. training. And I said this to some of my family members. I said this the other day. I did a call and I said, you may not even have even understand sometimes even the structure before you even got here. Drop a 777 in the chat if you never known that the 9 p.m.s were the same every single day and there was a certain structure to it to be successful. Meaning that right now on a Sunday at 9 p.m., there is a foundation training. Monday at 9 p.m., there is a trading plan. Tuesday at 9 p.m., it is a team building. Wednesday at 9 p.m., there is always going to be a product. Thursday at 9 p.m., what did we have yesterday? IBO. IBO. Right? So I was telling this to some of my family members and I was telling them, I was saying like, this is how I learned everything. You want to know how I actually got here? You want to know how I actually got here? It's because I said, okay, you know what? That's all I need to know. Let me make sure my phone isn't dying. All right, cool. I'm, I'm on charger. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. All I needed to know to be successful was the Sunday foundation, Monday trading plan. Tuesday, team building. Wednesday, products. And Thursday, IBO. Family, that is the information that got me to chairman in four months. It's something that I don't talk about a lot because I, I, it doesn't matter to me. The past success doesn't matter to me. It's what, what I can create for someone else in the future that will matter. I want somebody to come into my business and hey, chairman in four months. I do. I'm waiting for the day. But the reason being... The reason being, the reason I say that is to, to allow for you to understand right now, all I under, all I had access to was the exact same information that you have access to right now as we speak. So when we talk about nostalgic, when we talk about just feeling like I've been here before, I want you guys to understand, right? Let me, that is not a new schedule. Hold on. Right? So what I want you to realize and what I want you to understand that right now, right here, the inf you have every single thing that you need to be successful. Everything. 
everything, right? When we talk about thriving in the system, I'm going to get into what the system is, but I want you to realize that family, we've been had, we've been had everything we needed. That's how, that's how all of the success prior was created already. There were chairman 10s and chairman 25s and chairman 50s and chairman 100s long before you got here. There was platinum 5,000s, platinum 2,000s, platinum 1,000s, platinum 150s, platinum 600s, platinum 2s, platinum 5s long before you got here. So when we talk about the system, I want you to understand that the system stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. When we talk about a system, we talk about something that has been proven to work long before you arrived. When we talk about a system, something that has already created chairwoman and chairmen long before you, it was even a thought in your mind. So when I came into this opportunity and that was the original system, I want you to realize that right now, right here, right? I want you to realize that right now, right here, I felt like I had every single thing that I needed to be successful. Without all of the things that you had access to. So let me make this make sense. When I came into this opportunity, because you have a chance to actually feel it. When I came into this opportunity, family, there was no other product than the harmonic scanner. When I came into this opportunity, there was only the trainings at 9 p.m. When I came into this opportunity, there was no such thing as money in minutes. When I came into this opportunity, there was no such thing as a one, five, and a nine. When I came into this opportunity, there was no such thing as a go live. It was the harmonic scanner and a 9 p.m. And I want to let you in on a secret, family. We've created a lot of success. We've created a lot of success prior to it. But now there's a reason why I said, there is a reason why I said there's a blessing to be second than to be first. It's a blessing to be second than to be first. I've heard Nathan Samuel say this a lot of the times and it didn't hit me till now. It did not hit me till now. I want you to understand, I've heard Nathan Samuel says, right now, some of the greatest leaders of tomorrow are being created. Some of the greatest leaders of tomorrow are being created. And he said that months ago. He said that months on, months on, months on, months on, months on, months on, months ago. And I'm like, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen, right? If you know me, that's what I do. But I want you guys to realize I want you guys to realize, family, that right now, I didn't understand why until I truly started to understand why. Because if you realize, if you were part of this business for the past year, if you were part of the business for the past year, I want you to understand, family, that you have everything that you, every single thing that you need in this opportunity to be successful. Before I even get into thriving with the system, you have every single piece of information for you to be some of the greatest leaders of tomorrow every single piece every single piece right so now when we talk about thriving in the system what is the system what is the system right the first thing that i'm going to talk about guys is education education right although there is no one although there is no five it doesn't change it had the business has always been revolved around education, right? The business has always been revolved around you knowing information so you can be able to create a result, right? But I'm going to get into now how this system is in place for you to be massive, massive success, right? But I want you to understand, family, that ask Imran Richie what he did today. Ask Imran Richie what did he do today. What did I do today? What did my day today? What did my day look like today? And I may be a chairman 50, so it may just be a little bit different. It may just be a little bit different. I'm going to be honest. Somebody may have be a P150 on the call or a P600 or a P1000 or a P2000. It's the launch, but it, the launch may just look a little bit different. 
But I'm gonna be honest, family. I am right now. I'm currently in Long Island, New York, and I want you to realize that I've been doing the same thing that I've done prior to this week. I've been creating success for individuals. The same thing prior that I've been doing the same thing to this week. The same thing prior. It did not change. Right? It did not change. The objective, the goal, right? The end goal, it did not change. Right? But I want you guys to understand. I want you guys to really understand, right? It, the, the, the end goal, it did not change. So now when we talk about the, the system, the system has always been it. It always will be education. It always will revolve around the education. So now when we talk about the education, we're talking about the trainings that are being provided still. We're talking about the trainings that are being provided still. So we're not right now, right? You only have the 9 p.m. where this is a central spot for every single person in the launch pad to be able to come together and be able to learn information from some of the greatest leaders of tomorrow. And I'm going to be honest, family, sometimes I feel like that right there is a blessing because when we talk about proximity for granted, I'm going to be honest, it may just been have been too accessible to you, right? I don't know if we would have got 2,000 on the call with the one five and nine. I don't know. I don't know if we would have got on the call and said, okay, you know what? There are 2,000 individuals on this call right now, maybe locked in more than ever before. I do not know. I do not know, but what I do understand, what I do understand, right? I do understand that you are going to be able to try, thrive within the system at an alarming rate. Granted, you know what it is and granted you, you work the system that is, that is given to you. So now the first thing that I wrote down was education and I wrote it down simply education because education family, we, we know all of the things. And if you've been in the business for a little bit of time, you know, okay, education, you cannot avoid it. It's something that you cannot avoid. If you are trying to run this business without being properly educated, it will not work. It will not work. So yes, there is no one. Yes, there is no fire, but somebody on this call needs to hear that you need to make sure that you are getting educated because you may not truly have understood how much of a blessing it was to be able to receive these trainings from six and seven figure earners on a day in and day out basis. But guess what? It's still there. Guess what? It's still there. So now when we talk about being humble, being grateful, being truthful, these are the things that you, 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 you understand. Okay, cool. Right. I'm there. It's there. Right. The next thing guys is a result. So I said education. I said results. Make sure you understand now, family, that how these things are working out in your life for you to be able to continue to get a result. We're talking about thriving within the system. We're talking about thriving within the system, not, not maintaining, not sitting, not being here, thriving. Somebody, somebody drop thrive in the chat box. Somebody drop thrive in the chat box. You're not here to be here. You're not here to watch. You are here to thrive. You are here to be the next Platinum 150. You are here to be the next Platinum 600. You are here to be the next Platinum 1000, be the next Platinum 2000. Not, to, not for it to be a social club for you to, for you to change your reality because of the information just like you have. That's what you're here for. Never you forget it. So now the next thing was elevation, education, results, and elevation. Elevation. You are here to elevate. This business isn't about trading. This business is about building. It's about you. Are you elevating? Are you elevating in life? And when I, when I, when I, when I wrote these things down in my notes to get on this call, I literally heard myself. I literally heard myself just like pillars. That's what I thought about. I'm like, yo, it doesn't change. It doesn't change, but you're here to elevate. You're here to elevate. You're here to elevate. You are here to elevate. Next month, you should be elevated more than you are this month. That's when we talk about now, how are individuals, how are leaders, right? Able to come in this business and hit ranks within 30 to 45 days because they understood they were here for elevation. They understood they were here for elevation, right? And I said, and I wrote down Launchpad education. Look who do you know? I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish you understood. 
I wish you understood, but sometimes you don't really understand until you realize the grass is not greener on the other side. I really wish you understood the education that you, every, all, all of us, including myself, truly have access to. Truly have access to. Because it's some of the top education in Trade House, period. It's some of the top education in Iron Mastery Academies, period. And that's what we've been educated on for months. So what does that look like for you? What does that look like for you impacting somebody that's going to join your business tomorrow? Drop a 777 in the chat if that makes sense. Because I'm here to let you know when I was in your position, when I was Platinum 1000, when I was Platinum 2000, guess what? You probably know a little bit more information than me in terms of education. I'm going to be honest. When I was Platinum 1000, guys, I told you all I needed to be successful was Sunday foundation, Monday trading plan, Tuesday, Nathan Samuel as a chairman 25, not a chairman 250, as a chairman 25 telling me the team building steps. Yes, those steps. Yes, those steps. Those same exact steps. Results. Marketing your business. Less is more in the DMs. Retention over enrollment. All of these different things. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yes, that is the information right there that got me the chairman, got me to six figures in four months. And I want to let you know, okay, Wednesday, the product. Remember, I told you we only had the harmonic scanner and Gold Cup came around after. So now when we talk about educating the system, these are the things that I, this is all I had. This is all I had in IBO. But I want you to pay attention to now, you know, pivots. You know, DCX swipe coin. You know you've been on a training to learn HFX overview, right? Today I did a cash trap 2.0. You know all of these things to be successful as possible in this opportunity. I'm here to let you know you have the ability to make money in minutes. That would imagine imagine some of your leaders right now at Platinum 150 giving money in minutes what they would do to this compensation plan. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Only imagine, give me P150 HFX. Give me it. Give me HFX. And I'm not talking about being able to make a lot of money from it. I'm talking about being able to launch the business. Some of you thought I was talking about being me being able to stuff my pockets with being fat. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about me being able to launch this business. Give me HFX at unranked. Give me HFX at Platinum 150. Give me HFX. Give me Matthew Thayer and Millie Mills at Platinum 600. Give me that and see what I would do with this compensation plan. Give me it. And that's what I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now of how your life is aligning so much more greater than things that you see right now. But you, you can't get tricked out of your spot. You can't get tricked out of your spot because you, are, you have to understand these things are playing out into your life. For you to be successful. Playing out in your life for the next three months for you to hit chairman. Playing out for your life if you're a platinum 5,000 on this call for the next 30 days for you to go chairman. Right? So now, the next thing that I wrote down, guys, was thriving in the system. Right? Was application. Application, guys. It is a season. It is a season of application. Right? It is a season of application. Ask Imran which, Richie what he did today. What he did today, application. I applied all of the information that I've been learning for the past few months, right? I applied the trainings that I was learning for the past few months still. And it's time for you to do the exact same thing. It's time for you to be able to understand what does this training say, right? The power is in your hands, right? The but it's time to apply. It's time to apply the information. It's time to apply the information and be profitable. It's time to apply the information and be able to understand, okay, if you're unranked, make sure you hit Platinum 150 tomorrow. It's time to, it's, it's a season of application, right? And the next thing that I wrote down, right? The next thing that I wrote down is you being able to understand, okay, cool, family. Your success is going to be depicted, and write this down. Your success is going to be de depicted based off of what is it that you do with your time? What is it that you do with your time? How are you spending your day-to-days? How are you spending your time in this business? 
how how keys to thriving in the system is how are you how are you, what did you do today what did you do today you were in this opportunity right now as we speak you are only as good as your last day you are only as good as what you did today your success in this business is going to be predicated on what it's, what you did with your time you want to know why individuals like a, a Ricardo Hussey went chairman in five months you want to know why an individual is like Jalen Goss went chairman and chairman in, in three months you want to know why individuals like Imran Richie went chairman in four months it's not because they are better it's application it's understanding that I'm humble grateful and truthful for the information that I have and it's everything that I need to thrive in the system but what you do with your time will depict every single thing that it that comes into reality. And now is not the time for you to think that, okay, you know what? What am I doing with my time? What is it that am I doing with my time? Ask yourself, what is it that you did today to, to get to the next level? What is it that you did today to thrive within the system? What is it that you did today to, to absolutely let's be, let's, let's, let's talk, push the GV. What did you do today to up the score? What did you do today to hit that next level that you were looking for? What did you do today to position and launch and create success for somebody else? Did you pop, did you pop a P150 today? Did you help someone be profitable today? Did you educate yourself today? Did you get results today? Did you make sure that you were on the prospect call learning how to do it today? Did you make sure that you got individuals on the prospect call today? Did you expose your business? Did you post 10 times a day? Did you educate your family members? Did you pick up the phone? Did you pick up the phone? Family, I want you to understand right now it's 9 to something p.m. And I know for a fact that there are rank leaders on this call. Right, that are rank leaders on this call that probably you did not depict your reality with the, the use of your time today. You did not depict your reality in this business with the use of your time today. Right? So I want you guys to understand and take every single thing that I said serious. Because we are in a season of massive, massive overflow, guys. We are in a season of massive, massive overflow. And with, with, with that being said, with that being said, family, what you do with your day to day is going to ultimately depict the reality in this business right now as we speak. What did you do today? Right? Your day to days, what does it look like? Right? What does it look like? Knowing the information that you know, what does your day to day look like in this opportunity right now as we speak? Because the greatest leaders of tomorrow have already been created and it's happening right now. We're waiting for the back office to catch up. Right, so without further ado, without further ado, drop some fire emojis in the chats, right? Drop some fire emojis in the chats as I, as I, as I pass it over, as I completely pass it over to someone who is a system guru, who is a system guru, right? Who is a system guru. Send this link out 17 more times if you have to, because the, the, the individual that we are going to be listening to right now on this call, the individual that we are going to be hearing from on this call, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be fully transparent. This is an individual where I don't know who has the answers, but this is somebody that he may damn well have the answers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, right? If there's anybody in this business who may have the answers, but this individual that you are hearing from has the answers. When I tell you these are individuals that I this is an individual that has given me certain gems, indirect mentorship on Zoom links like this. When I was unranked, when I was P150, when I was P600, and individuals like Nathan Salmon was a chairman 25, chairman 50. I want you to realize, family, that this is the information that I didn't need for someone to call. I didn't need for someone to call to say, okay, this is the information. I took the indirect mentorship on these Zoom links. Serious. Right? Serious. 
Sometimes we forget that Nathan Samuel is a 23-year-old multimillionaire with seven, several different investment properties, several different lives impacted, hundreds and thousands of lives impacted. Right? Foundations. All of the different things in this opportunity. In this, and you got to understand, I remember Nathan Samuel being a platinum 2000 in his business. I remember Nathan Samuel being a platinum 5000 in his business. I remember individuals like Nathan Samuel, right? Launching out of Morehouse and now being able to thrive in this system. I remember it like it was yesterday. Three years later, three and a half years later, the hustle is the same. When we talk about thriving in the system, the hustle is the same. If you're not paying attention to a Nathan Samuel, he did seven events last week. He did seven events last week. And that may be cutting it short. So what I want you to understand, family, if you have not gotten serious and started taking your notebooks out just yet, please, 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 when we talk about thriving in the system, I'm dropping every, every single thing that I'm doing to listen right now on this call, right? So Nathan Samuel, my brother, we have 2,000 individuals on the call ready to lock in and ready to learn how to truly, truly, truly thrive in this first quarter of the year, right? How to truly, truly, truly thrive in this system as we speak right now. So without further ado, let's drop some 750s. Let's drop some 750s. In the chat, in the chat, let's drop, let's blow it up a little bit faster. Drop some 750s in the chat for Mr. Nathan Samuel. Because it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, family. It's already done. It's already done. All right, so Nathan Samuel, my brother, I'm locked in. I'm ready to take notes. And it's, the floor is all yours. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Thank you for that, my brother, Mr. Mr. Richie, Mr. Drippy. Drop a 777 if you can see me, you can hear me loud and clear today, family. All righty, all righty. So it's currently 9.50 p.m. Friday night, Friday night lights. And I'm blessed and grateful to be here with you today, family. I hope everybody is doing well from your perspective locations. And I have a word for you today. I have a message for you. I was just listening to Imran. I was just listening to Mr. Richie speak. And remind me of that word. Remind me of that word that Mr. Richie said again. That kind of was like you. Not, I'm not even gonna try today. Um, every day is a good day, but now today is not one of those days. You know, I'm gonna give you the word. But that word, nostalgic. He kind of said that it reminds you of the past. Can we can we uh, get some of the um reminiscing, just some of the terminology we use in the chat box, familiar feeling. When he said that, it kind of resonated with me and it like, it took me on a trail and it like just allowed for me to ponder um, as to really how we got up to this moment. And I'm not saying we as in me and Mr. Richie, but just all of us collectively. And I was really just thinking about Imran's story and I was just thinking about where we are right now within the pad. And as and he talked about how we are creating the greatest leaders for tomorrow, I truly, truly, truly do believe that. And I just had a really full circle moment. And I was gonna talk to you today about specifically making sure you strategically plan your days. And then I wanna make sure I come back on Sunday as well and kind of give you um, just like a 2.0 version of uh, just the conversations we are talking about tonight. But I felt that it was only fair being that it, we did recently change the whole, infra not change the whole infrastructure, but better the infrastructure for you to thrive in. I just want to kind of provide you with, you know, uh, a history lesson on one side and then really how you are going to capitalize and start to walk in your purpose and really start to take advantage of what's set up in front of you based off of what you know from the past and as well as who you are as a person. So drop a seven if that's something you can get in tune with, you know, looking to make sure Obviously, everyone's going chairman this year. I want you to know I'm so happy and grateful now that you are our chairman tenant above and beyond this year. And now we're really going to start to talk about how you're going to start to make sure this happens in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Because like my brother, Mr. Richie said, how you control your time and what you do with your time actually does, um, it really does dictate 
exactly what happens in your life and really how successful you will be in this career or where you will be in Iron Master or just anything in life in general. And what the, one of the most craziest things is I'm listening to my, my big brother, Mr. Richie, speak. And I remember, I remember when I first enrolled Mr. Richie in the business. And I want to kind of give you a history lesson now so we can kind of provide some context because I remember when I enrolled Mr. Richie in the business. I enrolled Mr. Richie two times in this business. Um, so for those of you guys who may have left the business and came back, this is a beautiful example. I was talking to my little cousin today and I was just telling him, don't quit on yourself for a minute, but it's a perfect example of how never giving up, you'll really be able to um, get to where you need to go. And on, along the way of your journey, there will be some forbidden, op there will be some obstacles which you would not truly expect, um, some different things that kind of come into your peripheral at times that you least expect. Um, however, however, uh, a clear sense of direction and really focus and belief in yourself, you'll be able to overcome anything, achieve anything. And that's exactly what Mr. Richie did. But I kind of want to take you guys back to Nathan Samuel P2000. Drop one if you're a platinum leader. Drop one if you're a platinum leader on this call. Platinum leader, platinum leader. All right. And I want you to understand now there's so much power right now in this conversation, so much power in this specific conversation between me and you, because this isn't necessarily a training. On Sunday, we're gonna address this again and it's gonna be more so a training. Believe it as tonight, it's a Friday night. Just imagine you were a Friday night in my house. All right, we had a very interesting week and now we and you were just having a conversation about how you're gonna dominate. And I really wanna take you back to when I was a platinum leader and I could drop my one, all right? And this was maybe now three, this is, a, this is almost three and a half years ago. Um, and it really feels like yesterday and it really is this feeling that I have nowadays when I run the business. I know Imran referenced, I did seven events. And I just counted that I, um, I really did do that. And kind of how these things are happening on a day-to-day -day basis, it's really, it was really instilled in me back then, three and a half years ago. And I kind of want to talk to you today about that instillment that was in me, kind of what I was doing, um, how I was thinking. And you're going to quickly realize that you can do so much more than I was able to do. Because if you might not realize it or not, but we just conditioned you for the past six months to truly just be like an education an education girl you like we 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 every day one five nine it was like robotic no matter where i went no matter what city i'm in i'm talking to different teams all over trade house and even to the point where i was talking to teams outside of trade house and within i master and it's just like this one five nine one five nine one five nine norm thing where like it's a mass a mass a mass amount of education and i feel like it has done us all a great great deal uh, by just teaching us we took the time to really teach really learn so that we can effectively go out there and launch all right, so now you're in a now you're in the phase of your life where you are truly going to be having to step out there and effectively launch, and you know a great deal. And I kind of want you to realize that this past six months that you've just been exposed to, this was kind of like when if, you, if you've heard the story before, I tell people that it took me twelve months to hit actually platinum two thousand, and then for the next eight months, I actually maintained platinum two thousand before I went to hit um, P five thousand. So. That eight months in my career was kind of like this past six months for some of you guys. But I mean, for all of you guys, truly. But the, the biggest thing is the blessings you got to start to realize is that I was in a moment of stagnation. And you are, um, you are and every one of you on this call, and if you may, even if you don't believe it or not in your heart, I'm here to tell you that you were in a moment of progression. You were in a moment of uptrend, ascension. Uh, you were ascending, in the words of Ruben. Um, because every day you were exposed to people who weighed way more money than you. They had a, a lot of great, a, a great deal of information that we can all benefit from. And we were just taking any information, taking diligent notes. And then we actually were looking to implement it now on a day-to-day -day basis within our day. Um, and I understand that with, uh, obviously, you have 159, you have prospect calls, you have your chairman trainings. You might not have been able to demonstrate it to the best of your ability. However, now, however, now you're going to really transition into that phase of, all right, you are becoming a launcher. And this is kind of where I was six months ago. I mean, six months as a Platinum 2000, where I was just, I remember, I just took the time. I had a conversation with my, my leader, my mentor, Mr. Bryce Thompson. He told me to just take the time to learn what was going on. And in reality, uh, with the rest of the world, it may be perceived to be at the time, all right, listen, at the time, it may be perceived to be that I was taking a step back because while other people were really having a 24 hours to maximize and launch, I stood bad and I didn't really look to launch as much as them because they had more time, but I was learning a lot more. All right. And then with that being said, once I finally understood it and it worked in my mind and I said, okay, I can do this. 
I can go chairman 10. Drop a one if you know you can do this and you can go chairman 10 and above and beyond. All right, drop a 10 if you know you can do this and you know you can go chairman 10 and above and beyond. You know, you could show up on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you can have a business relying solely on you. You know, you can have that dependency in your business where win, lose, or draw, people are going to come to you. Yes, yes, yes. Each and every one of you guys, I, I, I had this moment that you currently have. And then from there, I transitioned into, I, I remember I asked some of my mentors and my leaders, but really I asked myself, okay, Nathan, now what do you do? And then this is where now I actually stepped up and I did it to the best of my ability. But at the time, it wasn't even to the best of my ability. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to take a step back. I did it to the best of Brandon's ability. See, right now is a phase in your life that you got to realize that we're transitioning into what it looks like to be a real, real launcher, a greatest leader, a greatest leader of tomorrow type launcher. And you have to realize now is the time where you have to associate yourself to the greatest of the greats. So you have your bright, your Brandon Thompson's, obviously your Bryce Thompson's, maybe your Nathan Samuels, your Aaron Richie's, your um, the list goes on and on, family. And just by tonight, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not going to go through the list, but you understand the people who are really pushing it and striving it and looking to like who are really looking to move movers in this business, like not really. I, there's a great deal of success and leadership around, but at the end of the day, I was looking to run with the runners and the movers. I was looking for the people, okay, you, I know you, Brandon Thompson, at the time, and you got to understand this is a different terminology. At the time, it was like, okay, this person has made several six figures within the foreign exchange market. All right, this person has is building a vast business. This person is, is traveling. This person is, is at the point. This person is a six-figure earner. And I say, okay, I want that spot. And at the time, I was a bit ignorant to a lot of the wisdom and knowledge that I have currently. All right, this was about three years ago. Um, but in reality, all I did was the, the wealthiest person in the room. I just tried to make sure I matched my work ethic. And I know a lot of great leaders, You, uh, you we've, we've heard me reference that I tell people I would not allow for you to work. I would not allow for you to, you can either make more money than me or work harder than me, but I would never allow for you to do both. And this was really in a time where I really started to embrace that. I said, I realized that a lot of the people who I wanted to position myself around, they made a lot of more money than me. So a lot of us on this call, you have been around proximity a lot. You've seen chairman, you hang out with chairman, you, you maybe have got some lunch with chairman, maybe if chairman has called you on the phone, et cetera, et cetera. All right, but now is the time for you to consciously make that decision and realize, okay, this person has a level of success, all right, and they make more money than me. And it's not a competition, it's just awareness for you. And then you have to kind of take that step to say, okay, I will not allow for this person to outwork me. And that's kind of where I was back in the day. I said, okay, I will not allow for this person to outwork me. And at the time, this person was Brandon Thompson, Bryce Thompson, those specific, two specific people. Um, and, I, and even Dr. Raphael Spiller, because he was actually a lot more active than he currently is and more involved than he currently is. Right. So I kind of had the mentality that, all right, I knew a great deal of information like you all guys all know. And then I transitioned into realize like, OK, this person is not going to outrun me and outrank me. And then one thing I realized, one thing I realized and I learned this from David, I, I was on a training. Um, and you know, at the time, some of you guys, this was maybe where you get on trainings and you may have heard David. Drop one if you've been on a training with David and it just dropped up in the chat. You don't really have a plan to be on with David that day, but it just got dropped because of the, the networking, the alignment that God has set up in your life. Exactly. So I was exactly in your same boat. And I remember listening to David and he told me he, he was on the training. He said, don't go. He said, don't study your mentors for where they're at. He said, go back and actually study them from where they've been. And now this is where and to this day, I kid you or not, I do this to this day. I actually I do this to Bryce Thompson all the time where I don't actually I was actually telling one of my other brothers this like four days ago, as crazy as it is. Um, I was telling him that you, you, I, I don't watch. We can't watch these leaders from where they are we have to go back and look and study them from where they've been and on a day-to-day -day basis i literally find myself little things like i'll scroll back to bryce's um instagram and i'll scroll up certain dates when he was chairman 250. i'll scroll through his highlights and see some of the stuff that he's done but more so just transparently we got to realize proximity is everything that we all are blessed with so i just picked up the phone and i would ask him because at the time you realize okay Yes, you guys, we, we all are launching with each other on a day-to-day -day basis, but unless you're consciously paying attention to what this person is doing, you're not really studying them because you are running your own race and you're getting on your own trainings for the day. And that person may be at a different level of success. When you take the time to consciously stop and study this person from where they've been, all right, then it'll kind of build you with the confidence and awareness to see, okay, this is what I kind of need to do. And that's exactly what I did at P2000. I remember I stopped. And at the time, now I'm a P2000. Bryce had just smacked Chairman 10. 
And now I went back to study what Bryce Thompson has done as a P2000. And then I realized on a day-to-day -day basis, what was Bryce really doing? You tell me now in 2021, everything is simplified for you now where you have you have either slogans, you have phrases, you have things that kind of remind you step by step what you need to be doing. What was Bryce Thompson doing on a day to day basis? You tell me in a chat box, what was he doing? He was launching, but more specifically, there we go, family. There we go. All right. Shout out to the first person who said that. But he was launching. I mean, he was uh, he was he was doing the five pillars. Excuse me. All right. And I, I went back and I watched it. I watched it. I would see, OK, when Bryce was a P2000. I'm watching some of his, his Instagram highlights, his stories, and I'm asking him. He would tell me, yeah, bro, I used to get on trainings every day. He would say, I need the confidence to actually go out and educate the business. But I wanted to make sure I knew what was going on. And I was able to educate it from a perspective of which the educators were uh, educating it from. All right. Then he would say, I also needed it to work for me. And at the time, now, we have already made profits together. He's already taught me how to make profits together and make money within the markets. I remember when Bryce actually sat me down and taught me ADX. Bryce is actually the first person to teach me uh, Bollinger Bands, Support and Resistance, years ago. And I kind of remember I, I, it was never a problem for us, Pillar 2, but I kind of took that more into heart as well as I began to run my journey now as I'm looking to make sure, all right, all right, I, I, was on my, I, was, I, was, I was getting on my trainings, now I'm looking to run. I kept in mind the fact that Bryce Thompson was always able to make me make some money, so it gave me some sort of confidence to keep running the business. So I made sure, and everything now I'm just taking note of, and this is what I do. I study what happens to me, then I try to create it to other people. So... Yeah, and then also now back in back then now Bryce is hosting a prospect call every single day, every single day. Like every like most people don't realize that a lot of the things that we do and a lot of things that are systematic now they are actually built up off of the backs of a few special. I'm I meant to say specific, but really special. Special is the word God took that out right there. But it's really built up of a few special people. All right, and you have to realize that if you want it to work for you, it has to be built up off a special person, and you gotta kind of hold that weight. Um, especially a lot of the success and a lot of the, the, uh, the tangible things, the materialistic things that you see and the price tags that you see that are associated with people's income. It really is. It really is set up based off of day to day work, day to day commitment, day to day grind. All right. And I want you to realize uh, and this is why I continue to work up until this day, because it's not just like a one and done thing in this business. Um, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a constant upline. But the minute you begin not to work on it, you're going to slowly descend. You're going to slowly go back in the opposite direction. So, yeah, as a Platinum 2000, now, I remember I'm watching him. Now, he's showing a plan. He's showing a plan. He's showing a plan. And he would also host a training every single day. All right? And I want you to know, this is now, this is back in the day. Now, we had a chat called Family Ties. I know some of you guys are in a team. We do actually have a team name called Family Ties. Shout out Ricardo Hussey and Kayla Jones as well. But, all right, this, there, there's some sort of heritage. There's, there's really some sort of legacy to that. Um, and that's why I talk to leaders as well who are part of family ties. And I kind of make sure I give you a, uh, is it really a certain, you have a certain place in my heart, which you don't even really understand because that was way, <laughs> shout out to you, Taylor, but that was way, way, way back uh, prior. And in these times now, this is right. This is now where I'm studying the most. This is where I'm studying the most. I'm taking the time to learn, to learn, to learn, to learn. And then there was actually a point where I realized, okay, he's hosting trainings every day as well. He's hosting a prospect call every day as well. Um, he was getting on trainings every day. Now, at the time, this is beginning to become a norm to me now because remember I told you I was already in the mode of learning, learning. So that was already, uh, I checked, that was already done. One and two have always been done for me. Um, and I truly want you to understand when Emron says education is the basis, that is really the basis. That is really the basis. A lot of us are want to run our ass off. We want to run a, mile, a million miles per hour. But you got to have the fuel to make sure the car goes at that rate. You got to have the information to make sure your business grows that deep. All right? So don't overlook that. But, yeah, we was I was I was on the train, blah, 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 et cetera. Now, this is where now I transition. And this is before the Enron Richies are in the business. At this point now, the, the solid leaders who you know today who are in my business, during family times ties, you had... Marquita Jackson. Marquita Jackson was with me since like I was like 12. So Marquita Jackson, you have Ruben. Ruben. All right, my brother Ruben, I love you. Ruben, I've been reading your prayer every single day, bro. That one prayer. Like that was I was gonna say it again on it today, but I just through the sake of time I didn't want to, but I love you. Um Daniel. Daniel Valburn, that's my other brother as well, who was with me. Um it was me, Keita, Dan. That was it for real. It was me, Dan, Keita, 
and Ruben. Those were the main four leaders. Vic actually came in like maybe like a month late. No, no, Vic was there as well. No, Vic. I don't Vic, Vic, we're going to say Vic was there. No, no, no. Vic came a little bit later, maybe like two months later. Vic came maybe two months later when Launchpad was assembled, but I was still a Platinum 2000 when Vic was in the business. But yeah, that was the leaders who you know. It was Dan, Nate, Keita, and Ruben, us four. And then I came to these individuals and I was studying the infrastructure. See, what you guys have all done recently, the past six months, is you have the opportunity to study the infrastructure. And at times, people have said things like, you guys are spoiled, you guys are uh, all this stuff. And I understand both perspectives, but I want you to really understand that you're blessed. It's not, some people may say you're spoiled simply because they are aware of the fact that they got a lot more success with, a way, with way less. And you may be a lot less focused with way more money in front of you. Um, and that's fair to say it from all ends of the perspective, but I want you to know from Nathan Samuel to you, you are blessed. You are blessed. You have been just exposed to more money than you know what to really do with. All right. And you actually got to slow down now, slow down now and begin to understand now, okay, that is what I have at my exposure. And now embrace the fact that you're about to take it and run your ass off with it. All right, and that's exactly what I did. I slowed down and I realized, okay, this is the information that I have at my disposal from the trainings that I'm getting on every day. This is how Bryce Thompson was applying it. And at the time, he was a six-figure earner. He was a chairman 10. And one thing I realized, is, especially at this point, it doesn't matter if you agree or you disagree or you like or you don't like, you embrace or you don't embrace somebody, family. If they are upline, you better get it together and get it in order. Because if you don't do that, family, you will be slowing yourself down I, I used to think sometimes, and I watch so many leaders try to do this as well, like you think there's a way around your upline to get to where they're at. Family, it's like the dumbest thing in the world because their success and the things that they've done in the past is directly correlated to the things you do. And it was like, I remember when I started to do certain things and I started to hit me five, Brandon, you see me certain things, it's like, wow, you're really stepping in it. You remind me so much of myself, et cetera, et cetera. And you got to realize it's just the natural, it's the norm of the business. You come in, it's known nothing. There are people who it's like a baby. You're born into this world, you know nothing. And the people who change your diapers on the first day and the people who raise you up into childhood, these are going to be the people who you will have some of the deep, the deepest sentiments with simply because they were there. They taught you certain things. They taught you how to maybe walk, talk, et cetera, et cetera. And it's the same thing in a business. So um, I was I was mindful of that. And I just began to duplicate now. I told my leaders, all right, this is what we're going to do. And this is where now if we pick up the phone, I haven't picked up any phones today. And just uh, please, 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 family, don't nobody else text me. I got all of the numbers I need thus far. If you haven't texted me your number and name, that means you actually have to do a better job of being a bit more attentive because I gave it three days. I have a board here, another board, and I have another board over there. And uh, I just, I'm going to start picking up the phones maybe Sunday afternoon, Monday morning. And I'm going to be in full throttle. I'm going to be in mode. But I don't need you to text me like, you know, you're going chairman right now. I mean, you obviously are. And we're going to talk about that. But just be mindful that I, you know, I'm a human being first and I have a family as well to tend to. So, boom. Uh, so I, I sat back and I, I paid attention to the infrastructure prior that was set up before me, trade house, so to speak. And then I said, okay, this is, this is, this is my family now. These are my village. I have four people. And then I was mindful of the fact that each of them were in a different leg. So you have Rubens, you have, you have Dan, Ruben, and Keita. And I said, everybody, come. <laughs> somebody texts me, I'm going chip. <laughs> This person, I'm more than sure you're not going to go chairman because you don't listen. With all due respect, you don't listen. All right. But um, I was I paid attention to the infrastructure and I paid attention to the way Bryce ran it. And I realized that Bryce and Brandon, they were taking a step out every day to build for all three of their legs. I was conscious of the fact that I'm one leg in this business and they were giving me a training every day that I can expose myself to. And individuals like Ruben or Dan, whether Nathan wanted to step up or not, Bryce Thompson was able to make sure these people were aware of where they need to go, what they need to do. So I was paying attention to that. And you got to realize, and this is where the transparency in yourself, you got to kind of realize, I had to say, okay, wow. Yeah, there was things I wasn't doing every day that my upline was doing. So because I became, and this is why I tell people, transparency with self will allow for growth to happen. Like you have to be real with yourself. HGT, I realized I, that T thing, it doesn't work on other people. It works on yourself. Like truth is for yourself. So I had to realize 
okay, he is kind of working me. I am platinum 1000, platinum 2000 right now, all right? Solely because, I mean, part of it as well was some of the actions and the efforts I've done. We all take strides. But solely was because of the infrastructure that was set up for me to bring people in my business. So I said, okay. I remind you, I have the mentality, you're going to make more money than me, but you're going to work harder than me, but you're never going to do both. And when you find yourself in a position where somebody's doing both to you, um, it's not a competition between you and them, but it's more so you and your future self. And you kind of got to realize, I always take it as I believe in God. So God is setting certain people in my life. So they're showing me how to hustle and work. And sometimes it may annoy me and may, may, may touch a different part of my nervous system. But at the end of the day, this is God showing me in my face. Okay, this is what I know you can do, Nathan. So I sat back, I paid attention to my infrastructure and I said, okay, he's hosting trainings every day and they were alternating, et cetera, et cetera. Prospect this, this, this. And most of you guys, you don't know me in this face. And this is what you got to realize. They're not going to know you. A lot of us are trying to be known before actually being known. Like you only get known for putting on work. So I want you to realize in this phase of my life, it was your, your chairman 10 upline, your chairman 25 upline. If they weren't part of that four individuals, more than likely family, this was a result. This These actions were a result no, no, no. Them joining the business, excuse me, was a result of these actions. All right. So I paid attention to the infrastructure. What do you think Nathan Samuel started to do? I realized that he's hosting a training every day at eight o'clock. It was six o'clock or eight o'clock before the 730 or after the 730. And then I said, OK, I'm already plugged in. I've already, for the past six months, I've already got on trainings. I said, okay, I'm going to do it every day now myself. I'm going to duplicate exactly. So a lot of you guys, for the past six months, you've been exposed to one, five, nine. You've been exposed to education at a high rate on a day-to-day -day basis. And now this is the time for you to put your Nathan Samuel cap on and say, or your 750 cap on and say, okay, I need to do the same thing for my village. And this is where now every day I started to host trainings. And I know Ronaldo Perez, he did the best foundation. Some of you guys never been on the Ronaldo Perez foundation. But he does the best foundations in the world. So I got on those and I learned it. Then you had trading plan on Monday, Nathan Samuel. And this is this is where most people don't realize that. I, let me tell you, let me be transparent. There was a part where it was Bryson Brennan. Then it was a part where we all were the system. And that's kind of where the 159 was at first. I mean, that's kind of where the 159 was. That's where we just left off. And then the transition to Nathan. All right, let me take the wheel for the back. And that's what I want you to realize. That's what, what you have been exposed to. That, okay, we all did it. And now it's time for you to take over and do it for whatever your specific group name is within the family. All right? But I was, I was plugged in. And I know every Tuesday, every Monday, that was me doing the trading plan. And I used to be so grateful because I created a trading plan just by paying attention and taking things from different leaders. And I would say the trading plan came from just the Zoom links that other people wasn't really, really pushing a click. And I, this is a point in my life where people don't understand. I lost my brother. I sacrificed everything. I sacrificed everything. My closest friends from home didn't really talk to me or see me. My mother and father, I loved them to death, but they know during these times they didn't really love. They didn't really see me. Obviously, they love me. Everybody loves uh, you, you know, with family. The people who love you, they love you. But when you're working on your career, it's not going to be a clear sight for everybody. Family, I've been in and during these times now where I've made the decision that I'm going to lock in. These are times now where I'm going in my immediately fam everywhere I go in my immediate family, everybody is rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it. At the time, my brother had a, uh, somebody who was dealing with rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it. It almost seemed as if everybody's successful in my life, except for my brother, Nicholas Samuel, my mother and my father, they were rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it, rejecting it. All right. And I kind of, I kind of, I kind of let it fuel me. I let it fuel me. I let it fuel me. But I more so pay attention to where I was going. So you can feed your, you can feed the distractions or you can feed your focus. You can feed where you're going. So I said, okay, let me pay attention to the structure. And I only say that to you because I want you to realize that they're going to talk about you to the day you die. People still, I know people who love me. I get all the craziest messages about so much grace and love and it warms my heart. But even within that, there's people on this call. I know you probably talk about me. You probably have things to say, energy. And it's okay because I'm going to do what we've always done. And I'm going to teach you now how to do what Nathan Samuel has always done. All right? You want to know what conquers all? Love conquers all. And you need to love yourself. I loved myself enough to realize that I wasn't good enough at P5. I wasn't good enough at C10. I wasn't good enough. Me and none of my brothers. And I, you have to realize, too, as well, that there are people looking at you. And I had to realize at a very early point in my career, at Chairman 10, 25, that I had my brothers looking at me. 
a lot of people were looking at me to hit these ranks and I can either feed the bullshit or I can feed my family. I can feed my future. And I decided to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. But I distinctly remember the day I was in, I was at the, now I'm in my dorm room. Now I'm in 1402 Ronaldo Perez. I remember this. I'm in 1402. On my side, excuse me, I'm laying in my bed and I said, I'm going to do this. I remember writing it down. I wrote down what was happening within the structure. I don't know. A lot of you guys are like spoiled and blessed. I, I, I agree with that because you really haven't even taken the time to write down the structure. You haven't written down that there's a 159 every day. There's a 730 every day. There's a there's a midnight with Steph and Stoff every day. There's a more and more de dedication with Dan every day. But I really sat back because I assessed where I was in life and I knew where I wanted to go. And I started to be aware of the fact that I had all of these times to learn, all of these times to listen. And this is a point in my life where I realized God always does this thing to me. He does certain things in my life where it allows me to stop talking less and be able to focus and pay attention more. And I kid you not, I'm in that groove right now. Um, but I said, okay, this is what's going on. I sat back. I said, okay, I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. And I'm not going to ask. And this is what I said to myself. I said, I love Keita, Dan, Rubens to death. And they all here be my witness. I said, I'm not going to ask for them to do it. Instead, I'm going to make them feel how Bryce made me feel how Brandon made me feel. And I didn't tell them, you got to realize when you're looking to help somebody and really launch and really looking to better somebody's life, you don't tell them. You never, I never told you that I was looking to do some, when I was better in your life and doing certain things, if it was genuine, I never told you. And granted, if I possibly told you that I was going to do something for you, it probably didn't hit as much being fully transparent. But I told them that, yeah, I'm just looking up. I'm looking to, uh, I didn't even tell him nothing. I told myself that I, yeah, obviously, boom, 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 said that. And then I said, okay, I have the system duplicated now. I wrote it down. And this is where now, nine o'clock, I said, okay, nine o'clock is my time. And on, on Sunday, nine o'clock, I did foundations. On Monday, nine o'clock, I did trading plan. On Tuesday, nine o'clock, I did uh, team building. On Wednesday, nine o'clock, now you only had three products. You had swipe coin. No, you had swipe trades, excuse me. You had, um, you had swipe trades. You had harmonic scan. Sorry about that. You have swipe coin, you have swipe trades, harmonic scanner, web analyzer, and I think that's it. That's it. And the most beautiful thing was our and push one thousand. And this was push one thousand was my bread and butter. Oh my gosh, this is where we we were popping like crazy. Drop a one if you remember that we were popping like crazy in 20, 2018. That was P six thousand. When I was P six hundred, I had a team. I had a I had a team of like the 20, 18 people. This is just a fun story. I love you guys. And I, I just need something to talk about. So I'm going to talk about it with you. But I was, uh, I had a team of about 18 people. I remember now I had all my brothers, Harry Berto, um, George Kristaff was with me as well. And this is where now every night we were just popping like crazy. We were using, we were using the products, Web Analyzer. And I would just over leverage. This was before the trading plan was really a thing, but we understood pops. And I ended up making, you probably heard this before, but I ended up making a great deal of money and helping a, a lot of people make a great, great deal of money. And um, and one day, lo and behold, I was over leveraging, over leveraging, and I blew everybody's account on the live call that day. And I lost my whole business. Um, it's just interesting moments. I don't know why, just thinking about talking about this with you, it made me. Uh, reminisce on that moment but that was the moment that made me because once I lost my whole business I, I lost my whole business at P2000 and P600 so I understand how it feels for some of you guys um but I want you to understand how I feel because at P600 now when I lost it I said okay I'm gonna build it back up and I'm gonna take the time to learn because I, I seen Bryce wasn't lo losing his business and I remember now I was doing specific things like in my own world that the the, the, the everybody else in my uplines weren't doing all right. And I want you to realize if you're doing things in your own world right now, especially with all that's going on, with all of the awareness and the information you have from several of the leaders and the chairman leaders, if you if your leaders aren't doing that and you're doing that family, I'm telling you, there's a good chance that that thing is going to bring your business down. And at the time, you couldn't tell me that more than anybody. Now to help so much people become successful, um, especially at that time. But it, it pondered my business. But I said, OK, I'm going to take the time to learn. I'm going to take the time to learn. And then fast forward now to when I created now the Launchpad chat, all right, when I, with five individuals, it started with five people in that chat. And this is why I tell people, slow down on the CEO title. I never, I never, you ask these individuals, they'll tell you from day one, I never, ever said I was a boss. Never, ever said I was a CEO. Keto really didn't like me at one point. 
uh, just, I just, I was just a little calm. I was just, you know, calm, little fat kid talking about making money. And obviously at times the money wasn't always in. People don't have time to waste. You understand? People don't have time to waste. You probably experienced this at a point in time in your career, but you don't actually have results to prove or results to actually flow. And you kind of are talking, people are going to leave your business. And that has happened to me, but I actually said, okay, you know what? I talked to everybody individually. I said, you know what? Let's get in these chats. Let's make sure we bring the family together. And I, I said, and then I said, uh, though, I don't even remember what I said. I don't even think I said anything past that point. The next day I was just nine o'clock, nine o'clock. The next day out there, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. And I remember when I first got into the groove, it'd be like four, it'd be like two people on the training. There's only five of us at the time. And then obviously they brought their downline in, but it'd be like maybe nine and seven. And every week, every week, literally, I remember maybe two or three people extra get on the calls. But at the time, I'm still very much trying to figure it out, do my thing. After about, after about two months of doing that, I hit platinum five. And then from there, I did it every, I did it damn near every day up until the point now where some of you guys are starting to realize that not, the schedule at nine o'clock started to change. And this is where now we got a, we got an assistant as well. We got people to assist us on the team where now I realized that the business is getting fast and it's not just, see me back in the day, my only, my only thing I had to worry about was sending the, sending the trade, sending the training out to the, the, the it was, I'm saying the channel, what am I talking about? The Launchpad chat at the time, it was a group me as well as now you guys see how the Launchpad helper sends it out in all of your chats. Previously back in the day, family, that was me. This is how I got to know BBP. This is how we know Pickleholics. This is how we know uh, Bag Alert. You guys don't even know Bag Alert, a lot of you guys. This is how we know um, Bag Chases. A lot of you guys don't know Bag Chases. And that was Ronaldo and Joshua Stewart's organization. And this is why I, this is why I encourage Cylon. This is why I started it the way I did. Because me and my Cylons, we are so interactive. And it was like, I'm always reminded of this, even up until most recent times, that it doesn't matter. These these people are our family. It doesn't matter if we make money or we don't make money with them. All right, these people are my family for life. So I was sending it out to them, too, being a servant leader. And all of these things that we practice and we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, I was kind of just doing by just copying what other people were doing and really just moving from the kindness of my heart. Um, and like I said, this was three years ago. But it started to work. I started to really touch all parts of my business. I started to have massive success from people who I didn't even know necessarily. All right. Ja came into play. He started to have massive success. And I understood Ja was through Ruben. Dan as well. Now, Dan has um, the Ambers, the Knicks. All right. This is where now I meet an individual named Vic Hardison. All right. Who introduced me to Tia. Who And Vic also introduced me to Whitney. Um. But it goes far on beyond your, your your perspective of what you think you can do when you really do the work. And that's why I encourage you now, just the thing I'm trying to tell you today is now don't be afraid to step into that position that I stepped into and do the work because you really don't know what is going to happen as a result of you pushing the business. You just showing up and showing out every day. And I'll tell you, today I had to force myself to do a training because I realized it is like the, it is the epitome of what I preach, being able to realize that you have to show up and show out for your family every single day every single day and i felt that it was it was only right especially as we're transitioning back to now uh really was move the business at the fastest rate what has allowed for us to have a lot of massive massive success i felt like it was only right that even me i begin to put myself in back in my old shoes like david says you have to do what you've done again in the past so I want you to realize that yes, you 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 are responsible to show up every day, all right. And now, what what do you what do you what is your day to day kind of gonna look like? And the last thing that I kind of want to address as well during this during that time that I feel like it's fair to note before I talk about what your day to day is gonna look like was the fact that me and Ray realized that we just gotta pick up the phone. I love my brother. We just gotta pick up the phone. I just realized that like, all right just pick up the phone and we could actually tell people to show up to what we were doing. And we realized, let me be honest with you. I wasn't always this, like a lot of you guys, you see me, you have this perception of me, like I'm made of magic. All right. But you got to realize that I was one time a person who you would not get on a zoom link from me. You could really go back and look at my Instagram and look at me prior, like during some different phases of my life, um, especially with some of the different perspectives and really the aura of the business at the time of investing. You wasn't trading in 2017, 2018, and you've heard it before prior. You heard about it back then, but it was just like, you know, these people weren't who they were. So it was extremely, extremely hard for me to grow engagement in my business. 
And the first thing to get on engagement is you got to have, you got to genuinely in your heart know that you want to grow your business and help others grow. And you have to have awareness of how it was done before you. No one, I'm telling you, bro, no one, there's not one person in this business who's like running with their head down and passing up through these ranks, really figuring it out and doing it on their own. And arguably, I know the people who are, okay, you may think you may be perceived, like arguably people can perceive that me, Bryce, we came in a business and we just ran our asses off and most people, and that we didn't pay attention to nobody. We always talk about infrastructure. We always, we always, down to, I'm talking to one of the, the, the 2021, there's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a new core. Like, you know, when we do these calls of trade outs, there's these four, obviously those people are forever going to be embedded in who there is, but there's going to be a new four. And I was actually talking to one of the new four and I was telling him right now, you need to take the time to study and learn the infrastructure. All right. And with me doing that and with me realizing that, and this is what I kind of, it, it pushed me to want to make sure that I became the infrastructure. And I, cha I, I, I challenge you now, wait, let me slow down, let me slow down, let me slow down, let me slow down. I was studying, I'm going to be transparent, I was studying the infrastructure of trade outs and I realized there was a lot more outreach than, out or a lot more engagement and interaction than I had. And most people, if you didn't know, before Forex, even after I became the noobs, I only had about 1,100 followers. I was never really an Instagram guy. And that's why I, I quickly realized that I can use the internet to make money. I've never really used the internet to express myself until I realized that I can express myself while I'm making money. All right, because I just never was a fan of like, you know, just, it's a lot of dumb stuff on the internet. Um, and that was never me and my brothers. We were really always entrepreneurs, um, but I realized that I can benefit from it and I don't have outreach. So I said, okay, let me pick up the phone. Then I said, okay, who can I talk to? I pulled up this thing called, uh, what the time was even, it wasn't even a rank report. It was, it was, it was, it was a, you go to Meditrated 4, I think it was dashboard or something, but you could refresh the GB. Like you can actually imagine if you can right now refresh the GB and see what is worth current time. That's actually what we used to be able to do. But this is at the time now where I realized that, wow, I can see everybody in my back office. And I kid you not, I still do it to this day. I'll show you, you'll see it. Some, some of your guys' name is, is on this one. All right, my chairman are on there. You can't see it as well. And then I have another board over there, but I took the time to write down, you'll see, I wrote down their name and number. I'm currently a chairman 250 in the back office. All right, <laughs> and I still write the names and numbers down of all of the people, all right? And I have about 100, 150 leaders who I wrote down, but I did that back in the day. And I said, okay, I'm just gonna call you to make sure you engage in what I have doing. I don't really, yes, JFX Day, shout out to my brother Kyle. I remember I signed you up, Kyle. A lot of people, I, and this is where I want you to be, I want you to really embrace your process because if you embrace it, a lot of key things will happen. A lot of people will really move and do the things that you see for this business. But um, shout out to JFX. Um, but yeah, I, um, so I said, let me call my team. Let me call my team. And all I would do is make sure that my team got on my 9 p.m.s. All I would do is make sure the team utilized my, the 7.30s that me and Ray was hosting. All I would do, that's it. Because at the time, it ain't much to it. I, you got on my training. It wasn't even five pillars back then. It was really only four because I wasn't telling nobody to host the training. It was just, all right, I'm going to put it all on me. You take the resources and the information you need, and then you go out there and run the business. And then you'll start to see over time, people will learn. And people, that's the thing. You, as a leader, you have to understand, people are going to grow in the business by studying your actions. You don't give a damn how much money you make. You don't give a damn how much income will rank you are at. I'm telling you, I swayed leaders to rock with me. Like, everybody doesn't always rock with me. Everybody hasn't always just rock with me. You actually chairman leaders sometimes. Nathan is not always the most rockable with person. He's not always the person who you may love to. Okay, and I get it. That's just who I am. God made me this way. But I've always been able to sway people through my actions. All right, cool. You don't want to talk? All right, this is what I'm doing. This is what's going on. And that's what I was able to do back in two th and whatever. Years ago, I was a teenager now. I'm 18, 19 years old. And I would just train, 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 train. And this is where my brother Ruben now, my brother Ruben was the first person I've ever seen in a bit. Well, yes, because other leaders did it, but I had to tell them to do it. I was kind of forced and holding your hand. Ruben was the first person in the business to say, All right, I'm going to do this. This is what he's doing. I'm going to do this. And then this is where Ruben actually introduced us all to Web Analyzer. I don't even want to act like I was the Web Analyzer guy breaking that to every... I remember I remember consciously in my room this time now. I think I'm like P5, C10. I said, 
oh wow he's like bryce i remember that because he made me feel like i could learn again i'm going to repeat that i've realized that he was like bryce and if you pay attention three years later you see who bands as a person he makes 50 60 70 thousand dollars a month from this opportunity just because of his habitual just because of his actions that he took are really the courage that he has the belief that he has in himself to realize i can do it too not realizing unconsciously, I don't know if you realize it consciously or not, Rubens, but you were just studying infrastructure. And then there, now we have everybody drops people holix emojis. I, I remember when the logo was made. I remember it was a, it was it was drummer holix. They used to make beats, and then they transition now because Ja, you had Ja Ruben, and they start to bring some individuality within what's going on. And now you have boom, Pipple holix. Um, and that was that was that was extremely unique. That name as well. Um. But it just through my actions and then through, over time, I start to see, I start to, I literally, the, the kids family, you want to have massive success through this time. You cannot change your actions regardless of who comes along the journey. And you have to realize that they won't see you today. They won't see you for what it's worth today. They won't. It's one of the most challenging things, even as a leader, even as a leader, it gets worse as a leader. So let me just save you on that as a platinum leader. It's cool. For them not to see what you're worth because you're, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. And you hit chairman and it's like, you know you're worth something, but they still won't see you for where you're going. So that's just a gem to know. People will never see you for what you're worth in this business. But over time, they'll realize that your actions spoke louder than you ever could. So don't try to save yourself. Don't try to express yourself. I've been, I've, and I said this to myself maybe about two months ago, but I'm only going to talk really when it's time to educate now. Because besides that, I don't have, you don't have nothing to prove and everything to learn and everything to intake right now is the season of acceleration. And mass success is coming in all of our lives. And that's why you see the past six months, I was really taking the time to learn, 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 learn. Because I knew in my heart, I would say it in my heart, there will be another time now where we have to get back to the things that we got back, that we, that got us here. And you got to realize that it's not going to be built off of my back anymore. It can't be. I mean, I can. I could try to get on 9 p.m., do the things, do the things. But you got to realize that I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to say I'm washed up because I'm not washed up. But it's like, it's like anything else. It's like, okay, I'm a star player, but we just, we just, and the coach just picked the number one draft pick. And that number one draft pick is you. It, 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 it's like when Michael Jordan first got to the league. You've done your college things, you've done all of that, but you gotta realize now, okay, I'm, 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 uh, what's his name? I'm Magic Johnson. I'm Larry Bird, and you're Michael Jordan. I remember watching a Michael Jordan interview. Take the time to really watch out, watch the Michael Jordan interview. He said, "I used to just want to be like Magic, Magic Johnson. I used to just want to be like Larry Bird." He says he remembered his rookie year. He was disappointed because he didn't get any awareness or recognition from Magic Johnson or Larry Bird. I'm going on to be now his, his, after his seventh, after his eighth, ninth, whatever season. Now he's one of the greatest to ever do it. And you got to realize now it, it comes from studying. He says, I used to study this. I study this. I study this. I study this. And then the repetition now, he worked out every day. He was in the gym every single day. And you got to realize now this is your time now where you need to put the reps in every single day. And you can try to, I'm telling you now, you can, when we, we, in this space, I realize this space allows for us all to operate from the spirit and see greater good for ourselves, see greater, allow for us to realize that there's more. You're in spaces where people are making more money than you, you're in business with them, they're telling you things, they're saying your name, that they're, they're, it's resonating with you. So it really brings you the confidence and the comfort to realize that you can do more, but you got to realize the only way that more is really going to step into fruition is when you really start to apply the body and the mind and start to do the things every day. And this is where now you got to realize that the body and mind are going to become tired keeping up with the spirit and i realized this that back then i used to say it, i used to be gratefully tired i was so tired at the end of my days but i was grateful for it this is where now i looked at my back office and i would look at my back office with joy because i know i put some effort forward that day i want you to start to make sure you look at your back office with joy and you're gratefully tired because you put some effort forward that day all right there should not be a day right now and i want you to realize now if you're not this is if you're up to par. If you're P1000 and up, to me, you're up to par. But you need to make sure you respect structure. If you break structure, a break of infrastructure, it doesn't matter how talented you are. It does not matter how talented you are. And I feel as if I am the talented of the talented of the talented. But anytime I choose to break infrastructure, and I haven't done it in months now, but in the past in my career, when I broke infrastructure, it doesn't matter how talented you are, family, you will fail. You will fail. I kind of take it as the Bible says, I was talking to, um somebody yesterday and i was telling them that the bible says that to honor your mother and father so you may be your days may be long upon this earth 
And I realized that it's 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 really uh, parallel in this business. It's like you got to honor your upline so that your days may be long upon this business and take like the parental guidance out of it. Just take the structure of even the way the word is allowing for us to respect those who set things up before them. And we know our parents weren't always perfect. I know my mom wasn't always perfect. But after, and I know at times I text my I remember growing up, I used to say some real main stuff to my mom and my older brother would really beat me up, literally beat me up for it. And I kid you not, maybe like three days ago, I text my mom. I said, mom, you just how did you do it, mom? You're the greatest mom in the world. Like it's just the appreciation. Um, just by really taking a step back and appreciating all that she's done for me. And it allowed for me now to feel like I have the confidence to go out and do so much more. And it's kind of the same thing with your uplines. You got to realize that you can't break structure. And why do I say that now? You got to kind of realize, okay, your days, your days, your GV, your money, it's a blank canvas. It's a 24 hour blank canvas. And the very first things you need to do with that blank canvas is honor your mother and father, honor your upline. All right. And if this is, and if this is offending you in any way, you feel like the terminology is hurting you. All right. You're being too profit right now. Drop your ego. All right. And let the income come through. So Boom. First things first, your day is blank. You need to say, okay, what day is my chairman leader training? I know I have, we have, you got to realize there's over 35 chairmen right now in the pad. All beautiful, 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 and extremely wise, wise people. You got to realize these are my, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever I am, wherever I'm in a business, but you got to realize these are my pairs. These are the people I go at it with. These are the people who I, if you ever see me stressing with somebody, is I'm stressing with these people because I want them to elevate and grow. Um, you got to realize that they have massive success in this business and they have some sort of understanding of infrastructure and they have some, they're going to provide you with some sort of education. So you got to realize the first things first is you got to, you have to plug into what they have going on. So I'm going to take, let's say I'm going to take stocks rising right now for an example. Let's say stocks rising. Give me a second, family. All right, I'm good to go. Let's say you have stocks rising. Let's say you have stocks rising. And let's say I'm P2000 Kyrie right now. I'm going off of what I know. I'm P2000 Kyrie right now. I'm blacking. I'm mapping out my days. I know. First thing first, I know Vic is going to train certain times. First things first, all right, this is for everybody. Pay attention to who your direct chairman upline is. If you don't know who that is right now, take the time. Actually, leaders, all right. Who are my direct chairman upline? And you got to realize that. This is one thing Bryce made me realize. David made me realize. You can't pay. You, nobody's perfect in this business. But you are the person who can make sure that your business is spot on. Your upline's not going to do it. Your downline's not going to do it. So you have to be consciously aware of these things to make sure your business is. Whose business is spot on? Tell me in the chat box. You, you, what are you doing? What is your job to make sure? Your business is what? It's two words. Spot on, spot on. Your business is spot on. And most people now, most people business is not spot on simply because of the fact that they think their upline's business is spot on and you copy that. And I'm not saying they're not, but you have to realize now it's time for you to take full control of your success. Your upline is an example of success you can reach. And you have to understand, take what I said, you have to go back and study what they've been through to get to where they're at. And most people slow down and they, 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 they fail they de-ranked because they're not actually taking it. They're living with the upline day to day, but they're not taking the time to realize that, okay, this is what he did in the past. And this is where even me, us as leaders, we realize that it's important for you to stay current. It's important for you to continue to show up and excel and do the things you need to do. Because I have to realize that they're not judging Nathan Samuel for the story I told you in the past when I was me, Ruben, uh, Kita, and Dan and and I was a P2000, and all of them were P150. They're not judging us off of that success and where we've been. They're judging you off, Nathan. What are you doing as a chairman 250? Hence why you see it, I have to go out last week and do seven events. Because the current you, the current day-to-day -day you is the one that people will respect and study the most. But on the other side, now you gotta realize now I'm teaching you how to how to how to how to how to get un, how to get unrealistic results because most people are doing what I told you, but now you take my approach, what leaders taught me, you go back and study where they've been and understand maybe why they move like how they move. And you got to kind of realize like, all right, boom, my chamber leaders have been through something and, they, and, they, and you have to know that they're in, a per, they're, in a, they're in a certain part in their process. So as a platinum leader, first things first, I need to study that part of their process. And how do you do that? How do you do that? Or not even study. Let's make it make sense to you. That part of the process needs to be seen by your business. Most people try to, most people think that 
leadership and influence and things like that is important for you. So there's certain leaders in this business I don't like, but I love them and I respect them because of you. I need you to love and respect them. Who gives a damn really what I think at the end of the day? And you got to kind of realize it's the same thing for your business. You got to say, okay, it's a blank canvas. And the most beautiful thing is this is why I go so hard on love and genuineness and HGT within our family. Because I want you to really genuinely love the leaders. I don't want there to be any animosity. I don't want it to be any envy, um, jealousy. But I want to let you know, everybody on this call, you're going to be successful. Jealousy and envy is going to come with that. Just whatever the case is, let whoever hates, let them hate. All right? But you need to be realizing, all right, I need to make sure that my people see the learning process of the GOAT. I need to make sure my people see the learning process of the GOAT. So what am I doing with my blank canvas at first? I'm filling in the time spots where the GOATs are showing up. Okay, so if I'm in stocks rising, I'm Kyrie. I know Vic is speaking at this time. Whitney's training at this time. What we did, see, COVID, what we did is we created a schedule for everybody to put in your face. Okay, these are when the GOATs is training. But the real people who gain massive success are a way to realize that the 159 is there without the 159 not, nine, not really being there. That's what Emron was able to do. All right? That's what a lot of the leaders, that's what Anthony Miller was able to do. You got to pay attention now. You got to realize that you have times ready to be educated on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, okay, infrastructure set up. First and foremost, you have your 9 p.m. every day. But then you also have the opportunity to watch your leaders grow. So if I'm in stocks rising, I know I have 9 p.m. with Nate. And I know Vic is going to give me a training. And I know Whitney is going to give me a training. Boom. Now, as a progressive leader of tomorrow, after realizing I just did my six months time, what is Nathan going to do as well now? I'm going to also incorporate a time where I'm training. And this is where now you talk about mapping out your days. If you map out your days, it'll keep you from being broke. It'll keep you from doing broke activities with the parents who don't understand that we map out our days to be successful. See, mapping out your day is more expensive than you really think it is. Like, where's my calendar? I mapped out my calendar when I did my All Roads Tour for the first time in my life last year, January. Family, I made $4 million last year because I mapped out that one calendar. I kid you not. Mapping your days out is more expensive than you really think of this. So map them out. And if you can maximize the, if you can max, if you can map out, excuse me, the 24 hours, I'm telling you, you will start to see a massive shift in your life. So boom, you have one. You, I say you have one. I'm so, look, I'm conditioned. So you, I'm, I'm in stocks rising. Let's say I know I have my Whitney training. I have my Vic training. And I also have now the 9 p.m. I'm also going to host a training a day. Let me tell you something now. This is the time of your career. It's no longer the 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 the, the bicycle. What was it called? With the extra wheels, the, the the training wheels. They're off, family. They're off. They're off. And that training that you're hosting is like steering and pedaling. And if you don't host that training, you're gonna fall off the bike. You're gonna fall off the bike. The training is damn near more important than the opportunity call. If you're on this call and you did an opportunity call, you didn't host the training. I'm telling you, you're working backwards. But you're really working half as hard because you really gotta host. Both. It has to be a requirement to host both. See, I'm going to pick up the phone and I'm going to tell you exactly what I told you. And the only thing that's going to make it a little bit more personable is because you have a certain awareness of who you know I am and potentially what I've done, and I'm telling you to do it. But I, you need to realize that I ain't have to. Nobody called my phone to tell me, okay, this is what you need to do. Typically, I made the calls, but more so I studied the infrastructure. So you have to realize that, okay, you have the opportunity to utilize your God-given talent. All you have to do just pay attention. They say, what if your big group is, everybody's group is big enough. There's one group in, in this thing who is not big enough and they work directly with me. So everybody's group is big enough. You, uh, you, you need to take the time, everybody, and learn your chairman uplines. If I'm, if I'm BBP, I know, okay, I have a blank infrastructure. I have nothing to do with my day. I know Dan is going to train on one day. Amber's going to train on one day. All right. And Nick is going to train on another day, whatever your perspective chairman uplines are. All right. But I want you to realize now that you have to train every day. You only are mapping, the only, don't, the main, the main reason, there's two main reasons why you're mapping out your schedule. The first one is so you can, so you can study your, so you can have your upline educate you and your family. You guys can all watch the process and learn the information. All right. And the second thing is now so you can educate and be in correlation with them. But every day is a day where you have to do it. Let me let you on a secret now. It's going to be a day where your, your upline doesn't do it. Who still has to do it? Who still has to do it? Me. You need to worry about yourself right now, especially in this time. We, our, our businesses are all correlated. Our businesses are all correlated. Yes. But you need to worry about your business right now. 
your business, leading your business, making sure they elevate and they grow. And how are you going to do that now? First things first, you have to pay attention to structure because remember I told you the Bible says, honor your mother and father so your days may be long upon the earth. Honor your upline so that your, your days, may, your business may be long or your GB may be long upon the business, all right? Same, same type of principle as I interpret it, all right? So I'm honoring them. I'm honoring them. And now I'm also stepping up now. I'm stepping into the same things that they've taught me to do. Because even within honoring, you have to realize honoring doesn't just come as far as watching or being, or even you have to realize you being submissive to the information, you honoring them, it means you have to actually take that act as well. Because now you're kind of like putting on for them. You got to think, people do these Zoom calls, they educate us for what? For us to then ultimately take the information and pass it on. You heard Imran pray for us to impact a million people. So how do you truly honor so your GV may be long? You need to make sure you step in the shoes and host a training every day. And this is where you have to realize your success is solely predicated on how you spend your time. It is solely predicated on how you spend your time. And you can't wait for somebody else to not show up. They were, you honoring, you have to realize that you will forever be in business with these people. And they've already set the good example, each and every one of the chairman leaders. But you got to realize now, you have to set the example. You have to show up every day. And yes, Vic is going to train every day, but so are you. So now that next person who comes into business, they'll get what Ruben's got back in the day, where he sees Nate and Bryce every day. But you got to realize it's not, it's, 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 it's Nate and Bryce, but nowadays it's you and the Nate, and then your chairman upline is the Bryce. And you got to kind of realize there's so much power in that. There's so much value in that. And you got to pay attention to what Imran said when he said, it's, it's okay good to be second. Most people, don't, most people don't really understand that. It's really good to be second because you know you're coming in first. Like you got to pay attention to the number one artist right now. You think he was the first number one artist in the world? No, you just got to pay attention. If you're second, you got to pay attention to who's first and what they've done because you know you're going to be in first or you know you're in first. So don't worry about like a lot of us get the ego involved. Y'all be mad. Like, and it's two sides. There's, there's some of us, you have no ego. You're submissive. You're 100% open. And I watch success flow in your life. Like I can tell everyone jump over a bridge tomorrow. He's going to jump. No ego. He's submissive. Been in business a little bit over a year. Has been able to make half over half a million dollars. All right, but if you find yourself now, if you find yourself with any hatred in your heart, any la any unforgiveness, any prejudice thinking, any, um, I don't really rock with him. It's not really me. It's not really any of that stuff. I'm telling you right now, family, let it go and let God take the will because you are not here to be rocking with people. You are here to make sure your people rock with you. But you got to realize that we are all in alignment and all attached to each other and by some form of greater good. So love your people, embrace yourself, but more so when I say love your people, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about those behind you. Love your people and embrace yourself. And you got to realize you have the tools to take it a step further today. So you go out there and take it a step further. I'm telling you, that's the only thing that has made some of these top leaders who they are today is that they're going to take it a step further and they respect their uplines enough to realize that they will honor them. I'm telling you that those people who honor me, those are my richest peers. Mm -hmm. Those are the people I can call and say, yo, let's go buy a house. Those are the people I can go say, yo, let's go close a deal. Imran says I have investment properties. This year, one of my goals is to make sure that I have four investment properties with four of my top premier leaders. And I'm telling you, those I can I can, I can put my money today. One of them is going to be Anthony Miller. Another one is going to be Imran Richie. And then Rubens, Rubens is going to come and Dan as well. And Vic, I got so many. I can't, because these are the people I can tell you that, wow, they just honoring the words I say. And you see the village coming through. All right. I can, I can clearly see why a, a, a Ant has a Steph and a Reed to his game, to his arsenal. And then why it continues to matriculate and matriculate. And these are the people now, I'm telling you, I understand. A lot of us, you got to realize that business, the, the GV tells the story. The GV tells the story. And yes, we have ups and downs and, and lefts and rights. But I want you to realize if you listen to the words that I'm saying right now and you truly embrace it and you start to apply tomorrow, your GV will not de uh, sink. You will not de-rank. And if you de-rank, you'll get it back because you know exactly how you got it back. But you won't, you won't drop two, three ranks, none of that. You'll be right where you're at. And I'm realizing that it's not just me. It is happening all across the world in this business by certain people who are just practicing certain things. But you got to realize that your infrastructure and your setup is too sweet. It's too sweet to the point where people don't want to listen to it and apply. And you, uh, you got to kind of realize 2020 is not. I'm telling. Listen, I'm telling you something here today. 
Get out of the business if you think that we have any days to waste. If you think that we do, you're doing this for, for, for the pleasures of your life. You're doing it for the pleasures of your life, but you're truly doing it to fulfill why you were placed upon this earth. Because granted, you know you want to be remembered as a Forex, but we know that we need to dedicate our time here today to make sure that tomorrow when we do some of the, the philanthropic acts that we do, some of the greatest humane acts that the world has ever seen, some of the most iconic acts that get peace prizes and et cetera, et cetera. You have to realize it was predicated upon a certain work ethic, a certain perspective, a certain day-to-day -day attention to detail. Right. You have certain wisdom inside of you. You learn you're, you're telling people on a data. You got to think like you're going to be 40, 50, 60 talking about. Yeah, I was a part of that Bitcoin era with my with my family members. And these are going to be the people you're going to be at a barbecue with your chairman 10 leader who you hit chairman 10 with in 2021. But you got to kind of see it through. You will never get to these massive levels of success if you don't really pay attention to the steps that were set up in front of you and really walk in it. And that was one of the hardest things for me was actually realizing that you actually have to walk in my shoes because I've, I've built this business up. I built this business up demonstrating that I can do something. And I never ever told a leader to do something. I just did it until they realized that they had the power to do it. And then when they went out and did it, some of you guys have never heard my max profit because Vic went out and did it and this is way better. And that's where you step back and you learn from the people who have watched you do something. But if you don't do anything, if you don't show up and train every day, what the, are you doing? I don't care if you're chairman gazillion. You have to train every single day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. If you're on this call right now and you want to have massive success, these pillars are things you execute on every day. The next thing, we talk, we host trainings. You get on tra respecting the schedule. You honor your upline. You get on their trainings. Boom. That's a must. You know, you're 9 p.m. You have your chairman trainings. These are a must. And then you have to start to tap into that individual individual you are in your business and say you host that training a day. And there's a certain way you have to host trainings. Monday trading, Tuesday building. Wednesday trading, Thursday building. Friday training and host on the trainings. I'm going to send the trainings right now that you need to train on. Don't try to host any extra trainings. I'm telling you, host the trainings that I tell you. Because you don't need much. You see, Imran said he hit Chairman 10 in four months with three times less the amount of ed education that you've been exposed to. You might not even have been able to, you got too much. Some you ever heard the phrase, too much, sometimes too much, let go. You took it right out of my mouth, less is more. Too, I was just about to say, too much of something is no good, less is more, less is actually more. You got to make sure, give me a second now, I'm going to send you exactly what you need to train on. I'm going to send you exactly what you need to train on. It's been a long time. Oh, I didn't delete it. Uh, did I delete this thing? Give me a second, family. Uh, who was on my? Who did I send it to? I sent it to a few people. I've sent you the trainings to host on. You got it right. Oh, I got it, Dre. Thank you, Dre. I love you, Dre. I was about to say, like, who I send it to. I know I send it to a few of y'all. Yeah, there you go, Justly. Perfect, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I'm gonna um I'm gonna send it in the channels right now. Now you gotta get on board. It's it's newer. It's a newer type. All right, I'm gonna send it in the channels right now. I'm also gonna send it to your the chairman leaders as well so they can continue to send it out. I see Reed, my brother has it as well. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna drop it in the P5000 in Upchat as well, as well as the P600 in Upchat. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, use that example of what I just did as like a microcosm of everything in the business because that's exactly how it's gonna be. They're gonna have family members who are gonna be able to help you with everything, but you make sure you do it. You make sure you do it with your people. And the I'm telling you, it's the act itself of you doing it that's more important than the information. Because people will then go on and realize, wow, they took the time to make sure I know it. And I could have gotten a different route, but they did it for me like that. So I'm going to take the time and do it for the next person. All right? And it's the same thing with the phone calls. It's the same thing with the, the trainings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right? But the last thing I want to tell you before I get you out of here is get you guys out of here at 11.
um, because we're going to talk about this again on Sunday. But when we talk about, well, first thing first, hosting and training, trading, building, trading, building, go back and forth every day. It's about five building trainings and about 30 trading trainings or 15, whatever that list says. And then you'll realize that these trainings are going to go around a lot more. This is how your business is going to be built a lot faster. But you need to make sure you host these trainings every day for your business. As well as these training ones as well. Go back and forth, back and forth. This is where you're not, you don't need to do PS3, how to invite. You really do that. I get it. It makes sense. But you got to realize it's a new way of building a business. And we're taking the the, the, mac, the metrics and the, 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 the philosophies that were taught in the past, but we are just doing it, not to say our way, but we are, the infrastructure is, has evolved. It has evolved and you need to pay attention to that. So host these type of trainings, make sure your team gets exposed and pick up the phones. David talked about building levels deep, but I want you to realize when I heard that again for the, for the umpteen time, I realized that, Phone calls are so beautiful because I see here now I have P1s, P2s, P6s. You got to realize sometimes for Nathan, I have four levels deep of chairman. I have Kita, Imran, Kita, Rick, Imran, JMU, Lisa. I have five levels deep of trainings. But here, I, of chairman, excuse me, but here I am calling. I know, like, I, I have, whose name do I have on here that I know is in that business? Like, I talked to Nikayla this week. And I know Nikayla is a P2000 under Lisa. And how many levels that is? It's like 12 levels in my business. But because I'm attacking it with this perspective, now you'll realize you're going to have a never-ending business because you attack everybody from every angle. All right? But you need to give yourself the time and the effort. I mean, you need to give yourself the time and respect, not even the effort. You need to give yourself time and respect to realize that, okay, this is what I need to do to actually thrive in this business. And you'll see over time now, you can complete these actions day over day of a host and a training, calling your team, making sure they engage in what you have going on. The last thing that I need to put emphasis on is prospecting. And I was, I was pleased to hear and see about the prospecting opportunities today. I was so pleased. I was grateful to hear and see about it. But I need to realize if you host a training today, you need to host a prospect call as well. If you host a prospect call today, you need to host a training as well. Those three things typically are what move the business, what makes people business move faster than yours or mine or mine faster than yours, whatever. It's, it's, it's phone calls, trainings, and prospecting. Those three things, those last three pillars are really the movers of the business. The first two are internal to you, but the, third, the last three are the movers of the business. So you want to find yourself in this groove. And it's grooving. You got to realize right now, less is more. Down to the numbers of people on the Zoom links. The, that is the, you, less is more. Less is more. Less is more. It's not a popular, popularity contest of who can get the most people. All right? Family, less is more. You educate your people who are willing to show up. And between your trainings every day, between the correct system and structure that you set up for your business, for them, for the people that they're honoring and they're following on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as through your phone calls, as well as through your marketing on a day-to-day -day basis because the training we had last week when I told you how to market and things to say, those still apply, all right? But with all of that on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll realize that your, your business is growing and every act and every deed that you do is just 2% growth. I want you to realize you get on this personal training, 2% growth. You host this training, 2% growth. You host this prospect call, 2% growth. But if you do three of those in one day, that's 6% growth right there. You pick up the phone call again, another 2% growth, that's eight. You pick up the phone call again, 2% growth, that's eight. Let's say you make five, point, five more calls, that's 20% growth in one day. And what I realized what we actually were doing back in the day is we were capitalizing on like 112% growth in one day, every single day. Even in the heart of it, on Monday, I'm about to get back. Uh, God willing, on Monday, I'm about to get back in groove, making like 40, 50, 60. Like I was looking at this today. I said, I'm, when, I, when I'm getting groove, I'm going to hit this whole list one day. And I'm going to try to get at least like 300% growth. But it's a, it's a matter of are you willing to sacrifice and do what the business demands of you so you can live the life that you always envision for yourself. All right. I love you guys. And I see you guys at the top. Remember to listen to your chairman leaders. Remember to follow them. Remember to plug in. Remember to love yourself the most today. All right. And don't actually remember. Remember, remember, remember. The best of the best is already out there. But you got to realize once you attach your success to the best of the best, you're going to create a new new idea of what it means to be the best. All right. So don't forget to not sh don't forget to show up today. Don't forget to educate yourself daily. And most importantly, now you, you got to realize now is the time for you to lead. Put it in the chat box. Lead, 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 lead. All right. And I want to tell you in advance. Thank you.
Thank you. I love you. You keep me going. I kid you not. If I didn't have this business, I would not have any life. I would not have not a soul. <laughs> you guys have literally changed me for the better and allowed for me to see the positive, see the positivity through every situation. All right. Continue to continue to continue to inspire me. And I need some more chairman. I need like 100 chairman this year, 100 chairman on top of the 30 we already have. All right. We need 100 chairman from us here in the Pad Today family. And you're going to be one of them. Do not forget to leave. Tomorrow you should be hosting a training. And you should be getting on trainings, hosting prospect calls. All right. Picking up the phone, launching, 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 launching. And I'm telling you, last thing, last thing, last thing, the success is going to find you. All right. The events are going to find you. The, 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 the guest speaking, what they tell you to come speak is going to find you, all right? The events that you plan for other people is going to you're going to naturally find the venues. I'm telling you, success will come your way. God will put it in your favor as soon as you start to work the system the way it was designed for you to work it. I love you guys, and I see you guys at the top. Please, please, please be mindful to pray for your loved ones. Um, life isn't always what you, we think it is, all right? And remember, everybody has their own story, but you go out there and make yours today. I see you guys at the top. C750 the whole game.